he calls a decline in political tolerance in South Africa. This, uh, South Africans are due to go to the polls on the 3rd of August to vote in the local government elections. Talyad was one of the speakers addressing a discussion on elections hosted by the Centre for Constitutional Rights in Cape Town earlier today. Growing political intolerance and the effects of hate speech. Some of the challenges facing South Africa as the country prepares for the August poll. The structures that were built around managing elections are deeply dependent on levels of political tolerance. Even if we look at the structure of party liaison committees, party liaison committees are built on the assumptions of tolerance between political parties as well in the dialogue spaces that they create. So the risks around political tolerance are real. We have got a healthy electoral system at the moment, but we must also know that there's always room for improvement. We learn things 22 years going on. Um, we need to look at how we manage our processes well. The behavior of political parties on election day has also been cited as concerning. We've got far too much political party activity on election day itself. Uh, it really at a certain level almost amounts to harassment of voters because people have informed us that they have turned away from the ballot, ballot boxes and the voting stations because of the activities outside. But this is a conversation that is taking place uh, in the nation at the moment. I know that uh, it is also in the portfolio committee. Uh, so it is something that a lot of political parties are also beginning to realize is becoming problematic. Cape Townians have mixed perceptions on where the elections will remain untarnished. I think it's going to be free and fair because um, so that we believe in the, in, in, in the voting you know, in our voting system, IEC. I think they should, they have proved in the past few years that they provide the, the good uh, results in, in, when it comes to, to the vote. To the votes. I don't think it will ever be free and fair as they claim it to be. Uh, my personal opinion, um, our government has free reign. Uh, they do as they please. I think it's difficult as a young South African to really have um, a proper view on the electoral, electoral system as a whole because we, didn't, we don't really understand the struggles that people went through to create a system like this. The IEC says the clock we met in the Constitutional Court has raised the question on why a third of South Africans do not have addresses. It says, however, that the provision of addresses is a function of municipalities and not the IEC. Vanessa Puna, SABC News. Cape Town.